Imagine for a second one tool that you can use 10 different ways to generate quality leads. And here's the best part, you can do that for little or no money. Now that I've got your attention, let's get started. Hey there, it's Michael Creasy here, the executive editor with Agent Inner Circle from agentinnercircle.com. And I know you're going to like this week's episode. And speaking of like, please give us a big like and share and leave a comment below. Now I'm talking about, and before you throw your hands in the air and say, Michael, print's dead, newsletters don't work. I'm talking about print newsletters. And I would agree with you once upon a time. Yeah, newsletters didn't work. And, and frankly, most of them don't because they're glossy, they're slick, they're professionally done. They have corporate written all over them. And when somebody gets one, the first thing they go is, ooh, this is advertising. But compare that to something like this that comes in a mail or comes in the mail with a stamp personalized and you open it up and it looks nothing like a corporate newsletter. It's got captivating headlines and puzzles and brain teasers, the kind of content that National Geographic, Reader's Digest, to name a few, have made millions on. But something like best substitutes if you know someone has food allergies, four surprising cleaning supplies you already own, and then throughout this are little calls to action, psychological triggers that get people to respond to think of you when it comes to real estate. So this is written in such way it's called service for life it looks like you did it and that's the key if it looks like you did it there's a higher likelihood that people will actually open it so making money from newsletters it's a matter of being top of mind and in fact we've got two big huge you know uh, books here that walk you through the process of how to actually apply this and make money but I mentioned 10 things 10 different ways that you can use this newsletter so let me refer to a couple here right off the bat we call it the power list and this represents usually it's about the 20 percentile of the people in your database these are people that already know like and trust you they've done business with you they've probably already referred business to you in the past they like you like I said know like and trust you when they receive something like this in the mail it keeps you top of mind but here's the byproduct they read this they're excited about it they're entertained they actually welcome it into their home and then here's what happens they call you up and say hey mr. or mrs. realtor how do I get this for my mother my mother-in-law my brother my family and then they ask you to put those people on your mailing list and now you're organically building out your database how cool is that another thing you can do point number two is you can mail this out to your farm area if you're working a specific geographic area, this will help you kind of position yourself as that local authority. And the thing about this is the content is not about real estate, not about real estate. Now think about this for a second. If somebody has already bought or sold a home, the last thing they're thinking about is real estate. They don't really care about stats and just listed and just sold, it's not right now. But this kind of content will pull them in and again, it's written in such a way that it keeps you top of mind and there's little referral triggers that when real estate does come to mind, they think of you first. Now here's another subtle way. When I saw this one, I just laughed and, and I, I've got to share this with you. These tips are from our, our fellow subscribers. We have almost 900 realtors that are using Service for Life and some of them have been around since the company started almost 20 years ago. There's a testament to something that's working. But here's, here's the plan. They take the newsletters and they take it to places where people are, let's call it, stuck. What I mean by that, think about the local coffee shop, think about your doctor's office, chiropractor, dentist, your local garage where you take your car in for, your car in for servicing. Because what happens? People reach over to the magazines and you know that these Sports Illustrated from 15 years ago, no one wants to read those. But when they see something like this, the newsletter with the puzzles and brain teasers, they pick it up and before you know it, they're hooked. And the other thing that happens is, generally speaking, they're going to fold it up, stick it in their purse, their pocket. They're going to take it home and voila, they're going to be reaching out to you to get onto the list. And again, growing your database. So those are three simple ways that you can use it to grow. Here's one more, actually. I should, uh, th we're talking about print. There's an HTML version of this as well. So it's very simple to email or you can also send it out to your social media platforms. With one click of a button from the serviceforlife.com platform, you can email it, you can print it you can send it directly to our printer and you can send it out to Facebook and all the various social media platforms how cool is that so it's a powerful tool it helps you generate more leads it helps you make money which is more important and I look forward to your feedback and how you're using newsletters in your business once again Michael Creasy here the executive editor with agent inner circle from agentinnercircle.com look forward to hearing your feedback 
take care.